Welcome and welcome back everybody, Tabletop Toki here, and in today's video we'll be doing a solo playthrough of Hunted Mining Colony 415 Second Edition. During the course of the playthrough, I'll give a tutorial about how the base game is played, and be sure you stick around for the end of the video where I share my thoughts about the game in general. A huge shout out to Best With One Games for providing me with a preview copy to share with y'all here today. But without further ado, let's get started. Here we have a solo game of Hunted Mining Colony 415 set up and ready to play. Over the course of the game, we'll be traversing through a planet, finding aliens, collecting resources, and trying to make our way back to our ship so that we can get home safely. For setup, you're going to start by shuffling up the Hunted deck and placing it face down. You'll also take the alien card and place it into the box based on your difficulty, normal, hard, or expert. Today we'll be playing on normal mode. You'll then take damage cards. For the normal mode, you'll use the five wounded and angry cards. Set the three aliens with the start off to the side. Take a reference card as well as your starting weapon, the pulse rifle, which will have three of these ammo cartridges and four bullets each. You'll also take a large test token and a reflip token. Then place four random events on top of the game over card with four time tokens on top and create the location deck by taking 14 randomly selected locations, mixing the launch pad with the bottom two in a random order and placing them face down. On your turn, you're gonna be flipping over cards from the hunted deck. Each card will have some different iconography, icons you can use to spend, what you can spend them on, and a benefit that you can gain. Some of the cards will allow you access to the location deck, while others will give you more weapons and other items that you can use along the way. You can also find different crew members, which will provide you with more attack or other abilities, as well as aliens. So one of the important things to note is that some of the cards will have an alarm symbol in the top left corner. If there are ever two alarms out with an alien, then you will have to fight that alien. Or if there are two or more aliens ever out in the hunted row, then you will have to fight the higher two aliens. In either case, all of the remaining cards from the hunted row will be discarded. During a fight, you will discard time tokens in order to attack the alien. By selecting a number of rounds from a particular weapon, potentially with the added help of a grenade, and tossing them into the box to try to get on or inside of the target area. For each token that lands there, you'll do one point of damage. If the alien is not defeated, it will do a damage to you and you'll draw a damage card, flipping it face up. Some of these can be used later on with special abilities, but if you ever have five damage cards in front of you, you will have lost the game. Combat will go back and forth, discarding time tokens until either you die or your opponent does. Speaking of the time tokens, once all four have been removed, it will trigger an event. The time tokens will then be replaced. If the four time tokens are ever removed from the game over card, this is the second way that you can lose the game by running out of time. If you don't like what you see in your hunted row, you can instead discard a time to clear the row and start over, potentially avoiding some battles that you may not be able to win at the time. Once we hit to the launch pad, we will have a final mission. And if we succeed, we will have won the game. So here's our first draw, which is the corridor. And it doesn't have an alarm symbol, so I think we're safe to continue drawing. We have Myra, who is a crew member, and we're gonna keep going here. Okay, and we have Hobbs, who's also a crew member. So to gain one of them into our party, we are going to have to discard this search icon. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. Myra provides us with one grenade. Hobbs provides us with three rounds that we can use. I think I like the idea of the three rounds, even though the grenade token is quite large um, and can be used in conjunction with other things. So we'll add Hobbs to our player inventory. We'll say it's over here behind these two tokens. Okay. And this quarter is going to be discarded. Let's continue drawing and see what we get. So we do have two alarms, um, but we could get Myra into our party using this search. So we will do that as well. We have so many friends already. This is just wonderful. The grenade is the largest one, which is pretty cool to start with. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hey, okay, and let's continue searching. So we have an auto gun. We can discard it to draw an alien card that has just been drawn or is in the row. Oh, to discard an alien, excuse me. And it also has a key. So we might be able to unlock a location like a door. Hey, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, using the key to unlock the door, which provides two location icons, which means we're gonna take the top two cards off the location deck and choose one of them to resolve. So 
With the air ducts, we can succeed and gain one time, or we fail and fight a level one alien, or we can lose one time to fully reload the pulse rifle. I'm gonna try my luck at the air ducts here. So we have to throw our test token and we want to get it again, touching or inside of that white ring. Um, the stipulation that we have is that we have to let go of the token before our hand is inside the box. So let's see how we do. So unfortunately we have failed. We weren't close though. Um, so we're going to fight a level one alien. So we're going to take one of these star aliens here and place it out in front of us. Regardless, these two locations are going to be placed off to the side and we've made progress towards getting to that launch pad. So to start, we're gonna discard a time token and decide how much ammo we want to use. I think we want to use some from the pulse rifle. We only have to damage it once, so maybe with two we'll be able to get at least one of them in there. Okay, well one made it in and one did not. <laughs> so we've done one damage. Uh, to the alien, destroying it, and it will go into our discard pile, and we won't have to take any damage cards ourselves. Let's continue on. We have a grenade launcher. Ooh, that is really fun. And a grenade. Hmm. Now, if we draw an alien, we will have to fight it because we have two of those alarms, but I'm hoping that we won't. Ooh, a med kit. Okay, okay. These are all really good. I think we're going to try one more. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's the thing. We have a lot of good stuff, but I'm worried that we're going to lose it all and draw an alien instead. So I think we may lose one time to very unfortunately clear the hunted room. And the worst part is we're going to see immediately whether that was the right choice or not. It was. Okay. That's a level two alien. So we are going to continue on here. This alien does have a crew icon. So instead of damaging us, they would damage our crew members first and they would get discarded or removed from the game rather, and we would have to shuffle an alien in instead. So they kind of like take them over as a host. So I really don't want to fight this alien. I don't think we're gonna draw a second alien right away. And we did, so that's super fun. So we have to fight the higher of the two, which is level two alien. And I think we're just going to go ahead and try to blast them with Hobbs and Myra. We need to get um, two hits in in order to be successful here. Hopefully we can do that without them killing one of our crew members, although we have gotten our tokens from them, so it is what it is. Oh, there's one hit. Okay, so they've taken one damage and they will get rid of Hobbs. Again, removed from the game, not even on camera, bye-bye. And we're gonna shuffle one of these into our deck instead been taken over <laughs> and then we are going to go ahead and continue on with another round and unfortunately this will trigger an event so uh, this is going to happen immediately once we spend let's say two more ammo and let's see what our event is test if we succeed we gain one time so that would be pretty cool okay we have a jammed door a little short that time too. We need more force. So there's no negative for that event at least. So we're gonna put our four time back up here and then resume with our fight. So we'll place that off to the side. Little event discard over here, if you will. We have all of our other tokens. So we're gonna throw our two and we just need to do one more damage to it. We'll rotate it so we know it's taken one. Oh my goodness. We're going to use an, a clip to reload our pulse rifle with four. I'm not sure how great I am at throwing two tokens at a time, but we're gonna try it one more time. And we are going to unfortunately get rid of Myra here. I do think I was not supposed to pull this one out from before. So we're gonna shuffle that into the hunted deck this time. Um, we were just supposed to fight a level one alien for that other card. So now we have two more aliens in the deck because Myra and Hobbs. They sacrificed to themselves so that we didn't have to take damage. Okay, so we just need one more hit. We're gonna use one of our tokens here. You know what? This wasn't quite in the middle, so I'm just gonna zhuzh that a little bit, you know? Get it get it nice and tiny in the center. That's honestly probably why we missed. And you know what? Because I'm so confident, we're just gonna use one bullet instead. One more damage, like I said. Hey, there we go. Told you we just had to adjust the card. So this alien is going to be discarded and we are not going to have to take a damage. Okay, moving on. We have a level one alien, easy peasy. We have some ammo, which would be really good. And another level 
alien. Hey, it's Hobbs. I remember you. So let's go ahead and fight this alien. These get discarded. We're going to discard a time token. I think we only need the one. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Right in the center. Mm, that was not it. So we take our first damage card, which is automatically gain one success. I think we'll use that. That seems fair. So this alien is gone. Um, which means that we do not have to spend more time, which is fine by me or more ammo. All right. And we have a level one alien. Beautiful. We have a corridor. I'm going to keep going. We have one alarm and ammo. Discard to game one. Yeah. So we're going to use the corridor, the search icon to get ammo. Um, and I think we're just going to discard it right now. Cause why wouldn't we gain that? So let's keep going. We have an alarm. We really need to get locations. Okay, we have a level two alien that we have to fight now. We have to try to get two damage in. So let's spend two. Okay, maybe if we go like a little bit like one of those, you know? Nope, you guys tell I practiced beforehand. So we're gonna take a damage. Um, we have to, ooh, draw one location card when we flip this. So that's kind of nice. We at least make some progress. We're going to reload our pulse rifle and we're going to throw two. Hopefully we can get both. If not, we might need to use our reflip token because we are running low and we use our last time for this last one. So test, if we fail, take one damage and discard a crew from our inventory. Well, we don't have any. So what's the worst that can happen? Whoa, good. Okay, oh, take another damage. That's fine. Retoss any number of tokens we just tossed. Hey, we get a retoss. At least there's that. Um, so this will be gone and we'll restack our events. We have two ammo that we are trying to hit with. Uh, let's see how that goes. There's one. Do we want to use a retoss? Because I don't want to use more time. So let's retoss any number of tokens we just tossed. So let's do that one like that. Is it on? I think it, that is on the line because it's touching it. Y'all see that? So this alien is gonzo and we're going to move on. Um, yep. That was from our last event cards. Cool. Let's draw a location card. <laughs> we need to make some progress. Success, gain one time, fail and lose one time. Easy peasy. Gotta get it centered though. Nope. Lose one time. All right, so let's keep going here. Laser rifle, level one alien, a corridor. We're gonna trade in this, we're running low on our pulse rifle. The laser rifle also has these cool little laser tokens, which is pretty fun, but I think we need to make progress. Actually, neither of these have, we just gotta make progress when we can, because if we draw another alien, we are toast, and that's one location. So sewer, draw three cards. If one of them is an alien, it attacks you. Shuffle all non-alien cards back into the deck. All right, no aliens there. So these will get shuffled in, um, and the sewer is complete. So let's go ahead and shuffle those. We're more than halfway through the deck here. It's looking pretty thin. Um, I'm not sure of the distribution of aliens. That might be a cool meta thing to know, but I don't. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, we have a door and a corridor. So we are fighting a level one alien. Yikes. All right, we should have cleared it beforehand and then we would have gotten two locations, but that's fine. I'm just gonna use one. I feel pretty confident. Um, and we have a retoss, so Let's see if I dropped it before I even got near the box. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I was just playing before. I actually know how to toss tokens, y'all. Okay, let's keep going. Corridor. Med kit. Ooh, discard to lose one time and gain a health. That might be helpful, but I'm going to see if we can get this corridor instead. A level three alien. Very cool. I'm going to take the med kit using this. And then we're going to lose the time to just clear this because I don't want to fight a level three alien. <laughs> okay, we have a flamethrower. Not bad. And a corridor. Ooh, if that was a key for two, that would have been great. We're going to keep going. Ooh, Terrence, what up? He has a key, mm, but that's not helpful. Do we keep going? I don't think there's going to be another alien. A door. Okay, so now we can use the key to unlock the door to get two, and we remove two alarms, which is really good. 
So let's see, maybe we'll get a really good one that helps us out. Draw five cards as one is an alien, it attacks you, shuffle non, aliens back in the deck. This one is a grenade. Ooh, so I would rather get a grenade than fight an alien. I don't know about y'all. We're gonna try that out. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, ooh, we would have level two aliens next. And we do get a grenade, what up? All the non-grenades are gonna go back in. So we're gonna take that like so, shuffle these up, and then we're good to go. So we know that there's at least a level two alien in here because we just saw it, but we don't have two alarms and we don't have any aliens yet. So we can continue drawing as desired. This would be really helpful to have, but we don't have any symbols on any of these cards. But then we lose our time and then we're about halfway through. I'm gonna draw one more. Okay, 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 okay. We have a key actually, and we have a boot. Mm, so we can discard this to go through the corridor to get one location and that gets rid of one of our two alarms. So that's actually really good. Barracks, you may lose one time to search the deck or discard pile for sprinkles and add them to my, our inventory. I think Sprinkles gives us a reflip token. Sprinkles is a cat, but I'm not sure that I want to lose time because we're already so low on time. So we're gonna keep going. Corridor, all right. Sprinkles, hey, we need two search icons for that, or we can get rid of them to search this corridor and reduce our alarms. I think we have to do that. We have the commons, test, succeed and gain one time, fail and slide this card into the middle of the location deck instead of discarding it. Well, that's annoying. Um, where is our test token? Seems we've misplaced it. There it is. Okay. Let's see how we go. Uh, that, I mean, from where I'm sitting, it looks like a success. It might not be, but from here, it was touching the line. So <laughs> we're going to uh, take that as a success and keep moving along here. All right, we have motion detector. Discard to draw three cards. If any of them are aliens, discard them. Interesting, but it doesn't help us. We need search symbols. Ay, ay, ay. Let's keep going. Why not? Oh, there's a lot of alarms. Corridor. Okay, we're gonna get this corridor with this boot. Laboratory. You may lose one time to draw until you find an alien card. Discard it from the game and reshuffle. Sure, I'm fine with that. So we get an event immediately first. Test, fail and take one damage and discard a crew from our inventory. We don't have any, so that's fine with me. Oh, that was a big whiff. I mean, it was close, you know, it was close, but like not great. So we have to take a damage and discard a crew. We don't have one. So this is discard a card from the row, but we still have our med kit. Just pretty nice. Um, so we are going to do this, which is draw until we find an alien card. There it is. It is discarded from the game. Level two alien. Get out of here. Off of those crew cards that we also don't know where they went. Okay, and we're gonna keep going, I think. Okay, a corridor. Awesome. And we have two alarms. We did get rid of the level two, so maybe we're all right. Oh, baby. Okay, where's that key? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or we can use these two to discard an alien that's just been drawn. That's also pretty good, but like two locations? It's pretty sick. We could use the key off the corridor and leave the auto gun out. Let's do that and get two locations because we really need to get moving here, I think. Okay, we have a broken bridge, which is a test. Fail and take a damage and discard a crew, or we can lose one time to heal two health. I think that that is a brilliant idea. So we're gonna lose one time, which should have been on there before, to heal two health. So we're gonna choose any of the damage cards from in front of us and put them to the bottom of the deck. Um, I really like the location card one and I really like the automatic success. So we're gonna put those on the bottom, like so. Um, that really saves us because we were one damage away from just straight up losing. And we could also, we still have our med kit as well, if need be, uh, but we're fine for now. So we're gonna keep going. Okay, we have another one of these. Let's just use the auto gun to search this door. Um, so we get two locations. Okay, control center, draw the top 300 cards, discard one, place one on the bottom, that place one on top, that's pretty nice. And the landing pad, well, that's the one we have to do. So we're gonna fight the alien queen who has three health. If we defeat her, we escape and win. Apologies, I guess my 
um, webcam decided to stop working. Uh, so here we have the landing pad. We're gonna toss the grenade and ammo, maybe do like a little, maybe they'll stay and they'll both get inside of there? Question mark? Um, let's see. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna use my retoss because I don't want to waste a whole grenade. That was it's a little heftier, so we gotta use a little more force. Hey, there's one damage. Okay, so we'll rotate once. Um, so the grenade is gone. And then they're gonna do a damage to us. So we draw one of these. We gain um, an ammo for a pulse rifle. That's fine with me because we'll then spend it to get four back. We're gonna just throw all four because why not, right? This is what it's all about. So that's gonna clear. We're gonna use this. And uh, it, that was there too. Okay, two damage. We take another damage. If we take one more, we lose. But I know what's coming up, which is the auto success card that we had stored from before. So we are going to automatically gain one success, which is three, which means we have won the game. So there you have it. That is a solo playthrough of Hunted Mining Colony 415. This second edition really expands upon the original Hunted Mining Colony, of which I was a huge fan. I really love dexterity games, and I think it's unique that instead of in this game where you're doing balancing or flicking, that you are tossing your tokens. Now, hold up. If you're not a big fan of dexterity, it's okay because the second edition includes rules for a non-dexterity version where you use a card system to see whether your wagers were successful or not. That being said, I think the progression of this game is really interesting and challenging. That push your luck of when to hide and reset the deck at the penalty of time versus taking on actual battles, whether you're trying to collect certain items to help you or just get through the location deck as quickly as possible. There are a lot of really interesting decisions that you can make with this one. I also like the variability of the different items and weapons that you can get, as well as the crew members. So there are some really interesting different strategies and pieces that you can use throughout multiple playthroughs. I also really love the danger cards, which were not present in the original edition because they allow you to have a little bit of a catch up mechanic and you can actually play and purposefully take damage in order to get those cards, knowing that you can heal them later. So it's a really interesting balance back and forth versus just losing straight damage. The events also make for some interesting more immersive experiences and again those weren't present in first edition so i really like their implementation in the second ed if you're looking for a really cool dexterity or not a solo experience with a very graphic aesthetic and interesting twists and turns from play to play then definitely be sure to check out Hunted Mining Colony 415. And that's about all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please feel free to give a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, like, what are you even doing? And while you're down there, let me know, are there other solo dexterity games that you personally enjoy? That's definitely a category of game that I would love to fill out more in my collection and try more of. So I always love hearing y'all's suggestions. Thanks so much as always for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.